Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a full disassemble, a teardown on a Lenovo laptop. Here I have the IdealPad C340 15IML. If you have a similar model, uh, then you can follow along with the video. All right, so let me show you the layout of the computer. Here's the back of the computer, that's the front, and here is the keyboard. And this laptop here allows you to fold the computer all the way to the back, meaning that the screen is a 360 degree fold. You can fold entire screen all the way to the back. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And first you need to have is the torque screwdriver. And this is the torque T4 and we need to remove all the screws here to get to the back cover. There are three screws here on the top and three screws in the middle. and four screws at the very bottom. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to separate the back cover. And if you take a closer look, the back cover and the base is pretty much left over to the top. So you have to get in between the front. Okay, you need to get in between the top and the bottom. I'll be using a plastic, uh, sorry, a metal prying tool. I'll be sticking in between that. Okay, so that is the top here, and that is the bottom. I'm gonna stick it in between. And use a plastic prying tool to kind of run along the separation. Okay. Just gonna get it, take it apart, like so. So the entire back cover would just come right off. Okay, once you have removed the back cover, you can see the internal part of the computer. And the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. The connector, you can just slide it to your left. And that's how you remove the battery. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, please check the link down in the description below. That's how uh, you should, <clears throat> if the battery is not holding the charge and you need to change it, then um, get the replacement battery for this model here. So I'm using a Phillips screwdriver removing one, two, three screws, and then the battery will just slide right off. Here's the model of the battery, which is the L18L3PF3. That is the model of the battery. All right, once you have disconnected the, the connector and remove the battery, the next step I'd like to talk about is to replace the screen as a full assembly screen because the screen is a 360 fold, we fold all the way to the back. It has a touch screen. I highly recommend to buy the original OEM Lenovo. Even if it's a used screen, you should go with that route. Just because the hinge here, as well as the folding of the touch screen, definitely try not to go with the third party, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with that. We are going to replace, uh, this is how you replace the full assembly screen of this Lenovo model. Get a Phillips screwdriver, remove two screws on the left hinge. And there are two screws on the right hinge.
kill the tape which is covering up the Wi-Fi. Peel that off. The white cable here is at the bottom. That is your Wi-Fi um, card. Just kind of lift it straight up. And the two cables should be free on one side of it. And here comes the black cable, which is the LCD connector. And what you have to do is to just lift the LCD connector straight up by pulling the tab. And then they're just like Lego, they snap onto the connector and you just pull it right up. That's how you remove that LCD connector. Only two cables, Wi-Fi, LCD, and you are off to go. Here, what you want to do is lift the hinge up a little bit, kind of push it backwards. Okay, now you can lift up the, L the keyboard, right, the full assembly keyboard and the motherboard right off the computer. Now the full assembly screen will just come right off as one piece together. So it's very easy to do a screen replacement on a Lenovo IdeoPad C340. All right, so let's move this screen on the side. Now here comes the CMOS battery. If you need to reset the motherboard, you can just by simply disconnect the CMOS battery by pulling the connector to your right. Here's your RAM. Inside is the RAM and you need to remove the bracket. You can just lift it straight up. Uh, it's an aluminum cover that covers up the RAM. So just lift it up and that's how you remove it. And push the two side clipper away from each other. Push it that way, away from each other. And then the RAM would pop up at 45 degree angle and you can slide it towards your body to remove it. Here is your NVMe um, SATA hard drive. So remove that screw, that, that is a Phillips screw. So remove it, slide to your right at 45 degree angle. That's how you remove the um, M.2 SATA hard drive. All right, once you have done with that process, now let's go ahead and start disconnecting the keyboard and the trackpad. Here, connector, slide it down towards your body. That is your speaker for your left and right speaker. Here is your touch ID, the fingerprint sensor, touch ID. Open up the clipper, slide the flex cable down. Open up the clipper, the black clipper right here, flip it open, slide the keyboard down. This is a trackpad, open up the clipper, slide that cable down. Here, flip the clipper up, slide the cable to your left. That is for your USB port, the I.O. board on your left hand side. All right, this is your CPU fan. The connector, you can just push it to your left, slide it to your left like so. And that's how you disconnect the CPU fan. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this one here. That is your additional slot for hard drive storage capacity. That is the 2.5 inch SATA drive. It comes with the mounting bracket, which is pre-installed here ready for you. So once you have removed the four screws, the bracket should just come right off. And once the bracket is come right off, this allows you to install uh, the um, what do you call that, the 2.5 inch SATA drive. All right, now what we're gonna do next is to start just removing the CPU fan. Here comes the CPU uh, fan screw on the left, remove that. And this is the right, remove that as well. Once you have removed the two screws, you can now remove the CPU fan. This is a good time where you want to come here and start clean out your CPU fan. If you can see that the uh, dirt, the dry linens or whatever, it gets stuck in the fan and it is time to do a little bit maintenance and clean those things out. Here is your heat sink. You can do the same by removing those dust and dry linens. 
All right, let's move forward with the next step. We are going to disconnect the um, charging port. This is your DC jack charging port. The connector is here by simply pushing the connector away and that's how you remove the charging port. All right, so what we're gonna do next is to remove the motherboard. There's one screw on the right and one screw on the top left. And the entire motherboard should just come right off. Okay, and this is the motherboard model number. If you take a closer look, it says 5B20S41918. That's a Lenovo. Or maybe you can look it up here, which is the uh, model as well. All right, once you have removed the motherboard, now we're going to talk about the keyboard. This is a full assembly keyboard. As I can tell you, that the keyboard is part of the one set. With the full assembly keyboard, you, you would have to replace the whole thing like that. You can see the back of the keyboard. There's no screw that holds down the, the actual keys. It's actually the full assembly um, by the company that, that punch it down like such. Okay, so unfortunate if you have a one key that is broken, you would have to replace the full, and, full assembly keyboard. All right. Um, that is pretty much all I have for you. It's a teardown here on the Lenovo IdeoPad C340. Uh, if you have any question, comment down below. And if you're not sure where to buy the tools and uh, stuff like that, check down the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can do the upgrade on the RAM, change the hard drive, or buy the battery, things like that. All right. Uh, smash the like button for me. I really appreciate that for liking the video. And if you have any question, regarding about computer comment down below i will answer those questions for you thanks for watching until next time take care now bye